can try this again. What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. Hey, if you guys want to... Oh, you're not looking at me now, huh? Hey, if you guys want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description, along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. Where'd you guys come from? Anyway, so about a week ago, I posted a video about a two-shot explosive Gatling gun. And the whole reason why I posted that video is because I knew this patch was coming and it was going to have a massive effect on a weapon like that. So you probably know by now that the latest patch has had a massive update in regards to two-shot weapons and explosive weapons. So if you got a two-shot explosive, it had a huge effect on it. So I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the video I posted a week ago versus today. Same exact perk card, same exact setup, and we're going to see the difference that it had. Now I've actually got two different explosive weapons. I got the two-shot explosive Gatling gun, and I got a two-shot explosive shotgun that I did a video way back in, uh, when on. So we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of both of those weapons of before and after the patch. One thing I will say is that after I posted this video, a lot of people have made some comments about how I can actually improve that build which has been extremely helpful but just to make sure that we have a fair comparison I'm gonna be doing the same exact build that I had in the last video for this video just to make sure the comparison is 100% even Steven so let's take a quick look at our perk cards I do have the heavy gunner perk cards equipped for this uh, particular build I got all three of them each upgraded to level three so with all those combined it's going to give me an extra 60 percent damage on my heavy weapons i also got stability which doesn't do too much of anything as far as damage goes i got nerd rage which is going to help me when i'm below 20 percent health i'll have 20 percent damage and of course i got demolition expert fully upgraded to level five now in the past this gave me a hundred percent more damage but after the upgrade it's only going to give me 60. Other than that, I only got one perk point spent in Adrenaline because it, to me it just never seemed like it was worth the other four points to fully upgrade that. And then I got Bloody Mess, which is just going to give me a flat 15% extra damage. Now this same exact build prior to the patch brought this weapon up to 1080 damage per round. But you can see here after the patch it's all the way down to 318, so these weapons have been nerfed down a substantial amount. Now, I do agree that these weapons were overpowered, but with this nerf, with this patch, it really does seem like they went from one extreme to the other. In reality, I've always felt that ranged weapons were underpowered in this game. Uh, they take way too much ammo in order to kill anything, and then you have to repair it. So there's no middle ground here. They just can't seem to do a middle ground, and that's why most people are good, probably going to end up going melee after this patch. You can really see the difference. I've used this weapon as a Scorch Beast killer, and now it's taking a substantially larger amount of ammo to kill. Ironically, though, Bethesda couldn't be bothered to fix the reticle issue with heavy guns, where whenever you try to aim, your reticles disappear like half the time. That seems like a pretty straightforward issue to fix that they haven't bothered addressing. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the two-shot explosive pump-action shotgun video that I've done not too long ago. When I did this video, I got the damage up to 1,184 through a basic build. Let's do that same exact build and see what we come up with after the patch. So to start off with the obvious, I got Shotgunner. I got all three perk cards, all of which are leveled up to level three. With all three of those, it's going to give me an extra 60% damage on my shotguns. Other than that, I got Grenadier, which apparently didn't have any effect on the explosive like I thought it did. And I had Skeet Shot, which doesn't do any damage increase, but it helps with accuracy. Other than that, a whole bunch of other cards that didn't really help, but Demolition Expert set to level five. Adrenaline again set to level one because I was too cheap to spend the perk points uh, and then bloody mess once again for an extra 15% damage. So again prior to the patch we had 1184 damage out of this shotgun and now we're down to 342. So again one hell of a hit on these weapons <laughs> and as you can guess with numbers like that you can really feel the difference. Enemies that were dropping down with one hits are now taking three or four hits even if they're lower leveled enemies. Uh, again, so this is a good change, I guess. I feel like it was one extreme to the next. 
I think, honestly, these weapons would have been fine if they would have either dumbed down the two-shot or dumbed down the explosive, but the fact that they did both really makes it to where ranged weapons, depending on how you feel, are, are, are hardly worth even bothering with with this game. Especially given the fact that the melee weapons have always been overpowered, and yet nobody really seems to care so much about that. I will say with this change, though, it's putting quite a bit more value on the Enforcer perk card, which has the chance of crippling your enemy with those shotguns. Now that you're not going to be doing nearly as much damage. So if you do plan on keeping your two-shot explosive shotgun, consider adding that Enforcer to your agility perk because it does make a huge difference. So I'm curious for you guys out there that we're using two-shot explosives. How does this patch affect you and what do you plan on doing through the game moving forward? Are you going to be switching to melee? Are you hunting out for other specific weapons, whether it's instigating or bloody? How do you plan on moving forward if the, with the game, if you do even intend to move forward with the game? Let us know down in the comments. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you all next time.